The Winx A231 is a compact air purifier with a CADR of 147 CFM, four-stage filtration technology, and a few smart features. It's the smallest Winx air purifier and a direct competitor to popular models like the Lavoit Core 300S, the Koei Air Mega 100, and the Blue Air 411 Auto. Keep watching to find out how well it performs. But before we get started, press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This small air purifier requires a simple preparation before the first start. To begin, open the filter cover on the bottom and pull out the filter. Then, unwrap it from the plastic wrap and place it back inside the device. That's it! Now, position the device in your desired location, ensuring it's at least 12 inches away from walls and other objects. Plug it in and turn it on. The Winex A231 is cylindrical air purifier with a filter located inside the bottom part of the unit while the controls and indicators are positioned on the top. It's available in white or black. Although it doesn't connect to a smart app or include a remote control, it features advanced options like an air quality sensor, air quality indicator, and auto mode. The air quality sensor, located on the back, detects odors in real time and displays the information via an LED indicator on the top of the device. In auto mode, the air purifier adjusts fan speeds based on the current air quality. Additional features include a sleep mode, light sensor, and plasma wave technology. For more details on the Winex A231, visit airpurifierfirst.com. As I've already mentioned, the Winex A231 is cylindrical in shape with air inlets located on the device's bottom part. The filtered air exits through the fan grills on the top. The Winex A231 is a compact air purifier with a CADR of 147 CFM, meaning it's suitable for rooms up to 230 square feet, where it purifies the air 4.8 times per hour. While in theory, it can clean the air once per hour in a larger room of about 1,100 square feet, I wouldn't recommend using it in spaces much beyond 230 square feet, as this is the recommended coverage based on AHAM industry standards. Regarding the filtration technology, the first thing to mention is that the Winex A231 uses a cylindrical filter located in the bottom part of the device. The filter consists of three layers, a pre-filter, a true HEPA filter, and an activated carbon filter. Additionally, there is a fourth stage, plasma wave technology, which is optional. The first stage, the pre-filter, is a nylon mesh attached to the HEPA filter, designed to capture large particles and in doing so, improve the efficiency and prolong the life of the HEPA filter. The second and most crucial stage is the true HEPA filter, which captures 99.97% of particles as small as 0.3 microns, including pollen, dust, smoke, and pet dander. The third stage is the activated carbon filter, which neutralizes unpleasant odors, VOCs, and smoke. However, the Winex A231 doesn't use a pellet-based carbon filter, which limits its performance in neutralizing strong odors. The last filtration stage is plasma wave technology, which creates a short electrical discharge that produces both positive and negative ions. You should keep in mind that plasma wave could produce ozone as a byproduct, but under allowed amounts, as proved by the CARB certificate. You can find more information on filtration at airpurifierfirst.com. This air purifier features a filter reset indicator located at the control panel, which will light up red when it's time to replace the filter, usually every 12 months. Replacing the filter is straightforward, but remember to clean the pre-filter at least twice a month to maintain optimal performance. To replace the filter, first unplug the device 
and turn it upside down. Open the cover on the bottom, remove the old filter and dispose of it properly. Then vacuum inside the air purifier to clean any remaining dust. Unpack the new filter, place it inside and reassemble the device. Finally, reset the filter indicator by pressing and holding the filter reset button for at least five seconds using a small object like a paper clip. According to its room coverage, we tested the Winex A231 air purifier in two rooms of similar dimensions. In the first test, we placed it in a 194 square foot room and let it run for 60 minutes at its maximum speed. It successfully reduced PM 2.5 particulate matter from 105.6 to 5.5 micrograms per cubic meter of air, achieving an air quality improvement of 95%. Compared to similar air purifiers, the Winix A231 ranks at the top. For instance, the Levoit Core 300S improved air quality by 94% in the same room, while the Shark HP-102 achieved around 92%. In the second test, performed in a slightly larger room of 320 square feet, the Winex A231 also performed exceptionally, improving air quality by 92%. These results indicate that the Winex A231 is a highly efficient air purifier for capturing airborne particles. However, its performance in neutralizing odors was slightly less effective. In the following seconds, you'll find out how much time is needed for the Winex A231 to remove all the smoke from the glass box. One of the first things I noticed after using the Winex A231 is its pleasant noise. It has four fan speeds. In the sleep mode, it produces a sound of 40.2 dBA. At the first speed, 48.2 dBA. At the second speed, 54.3 dBA. And at the maximum speed, 66.5 dBA. While it's generally quiet at the lower speeds, it's a bit louder at the highest setting, but this is expected as it produces maximum airflow at the maximum speed. Overall, we can say that the Winex A231 has a well-optimized motor for noise control. Regarding operating costs, the first thing to note is that the Winex A231 uses a 55-watt motor, which could be better optimized. Some similar air purifiers, such as the Levoit Core 300S and the Kowei Air Mega 100, have smaller motors while providing similar CADR. At maximum speed, the Winex A231 consumes 40.6 watts of power. This means that if used at this speed 24 hours a day for an entire month, your electric bill would increase by approximately $3.56. As shown in the chart, the Winex A231 ranks as one of the highest power consumers among similar air purifiers. However, a positive aspect is its long-lasting filter, which typically needs replacing only once a year. Considering both power and filter replacement costs, we can say that the Winex A231 falls in the middle range in terms of annual maintenance expenses. In summary, the Winix A231 is a compact but still mighty air purifier. It produced outstanding results in our performance tests, operates relatively quietly, and offers an excellent price-to-value ratio. This is one of the top air purifiers in its class, and frankly, I can't wait to compare it to some similar air purifiers. However, I do find its maintenance costs a bit higher, and its activated carbon filter is slightly less effective 
than those of similar models. Overall, this is an air purifier I would definitely consider for my home. If you have any questions about this air purifier, please leave a comment below the video. You can find all the links in the video description. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like and press subscribe. That's it for now.